okay uh, this video i'm going to explain about uh, the various types of inheritance in java so in java there are uh, five different types uh, first one is uh, single inheritance second one is multi level inheritance third one is hierarchical inheritance fourth one is multiple inheritance and the fifth one is hybrid inheritance so both multiple and hybrid inheritance uh, can be implemented uh, through the interface uh, this video i am going to explain about the first three uh, types single multi level and hierarchical this is uh, single inheritance so what is single inheritance means uh, when a class inherits uh, another one class only then it is known as uh, single inheritance so inheritance means uh, you may have two classes one base class and uh, uh, derived class uh, here in single inheritance you will be having one base class and one derived class so this type of inheritance is called a single inheritance and this is an example here i have a super class so here my uh, super class uh, name is a uh, so the other name for super class is uh, parent class and uh, one derived class what is my derived class is a subclass so we may call it as a child class or we may call it as a subclass or uh, we may call it as a child class so subclass name here is b and these are the this is the example for the single inheritance so initially i have created a, one base class what is my class name is animal uh, followed by i have written one method uh, eat and the return type of this method is void and i am printing the messages eating then followed by one derived class what is my derived class is a dog here uh, this is a class keyword followed by child class child class name is a dog uh, extends extends is a keyword followed by animal so animal is a uh, base class here again uh, here i have written uh, a method name of the method is bar and the return type is void again here also i have written uh, the messages barking and uh, i am creating one uh, one uh, class uh, for the main function uh, my class name is uh, test inheritance and then main function uh, here i am creating an object for the derived class so here my class name is uh, child class name is a uh, dog and uh, my object name is a uh, d okay this is an object name so object name is d so here i am creating an object for the derived class now i am going to call both the methods so d dot bark uh, so this will call this method and uh, so this will print barking and uh, again d dot eat so d dot eat means uh, this will call this method and this will print uh, eating so what will be the output of this program is uh, so my first output is barking barking will be printed followed by eating okay this is a example for the single inheritance now followed by uh, multi level inheritance so what is meant by multi level inheritance means uh, when there is a chain of inheritance uh, it is known as uh, multi level inheritance so the difference between uh, single inheritance and multi level inheritance is single inheritance you may have only one base class and uh, one derived class but multi level inheritance you will be having more than one base class and uh, more than one uh, derived class that is multi level inheritance so it is there is a chain of inheritance so this is an example uh, here assume that my uh, parent class name is uh, a followed by sub class so subclass is a b here a is a base class or parent class and b is a child class this is a level 1 this is a level 1 and we have one more level in this example and another level is uh, again this is level 2 for this level 2 this is a base class class b is a base class and a class c is a derived class this is a base class and this is a child class or derived class so as i told multi level inheritance you will be having more than one base class and more than one derived class so this level first level uh, class a is a parent class and class b is a child class then level 2 class b is a parent class and class c is a child class see one more example here animal 
is my base class and dog so dog is my child class again under dog again here dog is a parent class and baby dog so baby dog is a child class uh, this inheritance is called as a multi-level inheritance uh, the same example i'm going to explain for the multi-level and uh, here again class name is animal this is a base class animal is a base class uh, here i have written one method eat uh, then i'm printing the messages eating again uh, i'm creating one child class for the animal dog dog is a child class so extends is a keyword then animal is a base class again i have written one method bark then uh, i am printing the message barking again i am creating one more uh, class uh, that is child class again baby dog so this is a child class for this what is a parent class is a dog so dog is a parent class again i have written one method weep so the message i am printing is weep so now i am creating a class for main function test inheritance 2 then main function uh, here i am creating object for my final child class this is baby dog is my final child class and uh, baby dog d so d is my object name here i am creating object for my uh, child class baby dog i'm calling all the three methods weep then bark then eat so the first call it will come here and weeping will be printed second call bark so barking will be printed and third one eat so eating will be printed so what will be the answer for this program is uh, for first call it will print weeping second call it will print the barking and third call it will print eating next one hierarchical so what is hierarchical inheritance means when two or more classes inherits a single class when two or more classes inherits a single class then it is known as hierarchical inheritance so here uh, a is my parent class and there are two derived classes for a okay b and c so these two classes are inherits from a b and c uh, both the classes are inherits from a not only two classes there are more than uh, two or more classes so here again one example so animal here is a parent class for this animal i have two derived classes dog and cat these are my derived classes now we will see one example for hierarchical inheritance for this again animal is my parent class name and eat is a method i have written then for this i have two derived classes as for the example i am creating two child classes dog uh, extends animal this is a uh, child class what is my child class name is a dog then parent class name is animal here i have written one method bark and this will print the message barking similarly class cat so cat means uh, again it is uh, again one of the child class extends animal again meow is a method name and i am printing messages meowing and uh, again I, I have uh, created the class for main function main for again uh, i am creating object for cat then i am calling the method c dot meow so object name is uh, c so c dot meow means this will come here and this will print a meowing then c dot eat c dot eat means it will print eating c dot eat means it will print suppose if you call c dot bark okay so it will produce compile time error so what you got to do is again uh, for dog also you need to create separate object so if you are calling by using the same object then you will get compile time error c dot bark means so for this what will be the output is meowing and eating will be printed suppose if you want to uh, print uh, barking also again you need to create uh, one more object for dog then by using that uh, object you should call the uh, bark method so then you will uh, get output uh, that uh, you can print that barking message also thank you